What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the Canon RF 15 to 35 F2.8 IS lens that I'm currently filming this with versus my old lens which is the 16 to 35 F4 IS lens for the EF mount. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the price because it's a huge difference. The 15 to 35 comes in at $3,000 Canadian or $2,300 American. And the 16 to 35 comes in at around $1,400, which is absolutely mind blowing. Like that's almost a thousand dollars difference. And that's mind blowing to me. Like that's crazy what you could do with another thousand dollars. You could buy a new lens. In my personal opinion, the 15 to 35 is a crazy amount sharper than the 16 to 35. I've actually had to turn down the sharpening in the Canon R, so it doesn't have that weird over sharpened look to my videos and photos. Like I'm actually a lot happier that this lens is a lot sharper. If you are buying the 15 to 35, one thing to look out for is the filter size. The 15 to 35 has an 82 millimeter filter, so you're gonna have to buy new ones if you don't already have an 82 millimeter or larger filters, which the 16 to 35 has a 77 millimeter filter thread, which is, I find, a lot more standard, and a lot more of the Canon L series lenses have a 77 millimeter filter. When I put the Canon 15 to 35 next to the Canon 16 to 35 with the adapter on. They're about the same size. Switching to the 15 to 35 isn't too much bigger, but one thing to watch out for is when you twist the zoom ring, the barrel of the 15 to 35 sticks out just a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but it is something to watch out for, especially if it's starting to rain or you're at the beach and you're getting sand all over the lens. I don't know how this will hold up where on the 16 to 35 all the zooming and whatnot was internal another thing to look out for is the canon 15 to 35 also looks extremely similar to the rf 24 to 70. if you have them both in your camera bag without seeing the numbers you might grab the wrong lens by accident because they look almost identical the coating on the canon 15 to 35 is more of like a matte finish it's very flat and the coating on the 16 to 35 is kind of more of like a shiny, I find it a little bit more slippery, even though this doesn't really matter. It's not what the lens looks like. It's obviously the image quality of this lens, but I thought it would be an interesting topic to talk about. The Canon 15 to 35 also has a control ring and that allows you to change either like the ISO, shutter speed, exposure compensation, anything along those lines. I personally think this is ideal. I have it set to ISO right now and it just allows me to switch it, crank it over and make it brighter or darker if I really need it to be. That's it for this quick little review and comparison video to the Canon 15 to 35 versus my old 16 to 35 F4 IS lens. I hope you did enjoy. If you do have any other questions for me, leave it in the comments down below and until the next video. Peace.